Hello and welcome to the shop. This is Mosquito, also known as Chris, and today I'm making just a little display stand for a record 043. And the first part of this is grabbing a piece of scrap and cutting, uh, this is about a 30 degree angle on there, just to give it a little bit of an angle. That's about what the rest of my display stands are uh, set up to be. So I'm trying to copy that the best I can. And this is not a particularly well-refined block plane. It's just stamp steel, but it's sharp. Gets the job done. And again, another piece of scrap. I think this was maybe a practice drawer side or something along those lines, but uh, just marking out a three inch by three inch square, and this is gonna become the base. Uh, typically you wouldn't mark with the grain, but this is some pretty well-behaved poplar, so, eh, whatever. <laughs> so first I ripped it, went beyond it a little bit, and now I'm cross-cutting it. And I didn't want to move it out of the whole best right away, so I figured I'd just, you know, go ahead and get started and then switch to have it hanging off the bench so I don't have to cut into my bench. And then once again in either the laziness umbrella or creative, uh, whichever, using the offcut that I cut this piece from as a kind of little shooting board with that block plane just to keep it from blowing out on the sides and it seemed to work pretty well. Uh, not ideal, but got the job done. And then I'm just chamfering the top edges to kind of knock the corners off, give it a little bit of a decorative touch. And now I'm just measuring, well, not measuring, I guess. I'm just marking uh, diagonally somewhere in the middle. I have my divider set, make two little marks, and then I transfer those same two little marks to the center of that upright piece and since I don't have my egg beater drill out here just ignore that uh, you know noisy obnoxious electron killing thing <laughs> but drilled out the two holes in the base with the countersink and also drilled out the two holes in the upright now this could have gone a little bit better. Uh, yeah, right there. <laughs> so uh, it did work, but I probably should have done this at the beginning and just kind of knocked out that corner with the marking knife first. But eh, it's not something that really matters as far as the width goes. So I can just plow this groove through the end of that with this plow plane and then I'll clean it up with that block plane again. So no further damage, and now I'm just going to grab that block plane again, that Fulton block plane, and I'm just going to shave down the front, or what will become the front, uh, to get rid of that blowout that I had from the plow plane. So I made pretty quick work of it, and now I'm just going to screw that together, and we're pretty much done. And then normally I have a little screw in there that hooks onto the skate that holds it in place, but this one's a little bit smaller. It's only an eighth inch wide. So what I did was I pounded the loose iron into it and now I'm just kind of cleaning it out to make a little bit of a notch. And then that way when I can reassemble the plane and stick it back in there, I can just extend the iron a little bit. And then that notch, it kind of positively seats right there in that iron right into that notch so I'm not too worried about it sliding down and I really don't think it'll fall out either so the last thing was to just kind of tighten the fence against the upright so that it sort of holds it in place and there you have it now I can go display it on the shelf with the rest of my collection <laughs> yeah this this was mainly a joke uh, it's it's not destined for the collection I'm I'm planning on using it but Thanks for watching.